Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. In this video, let me explore NGX slider. So the implementation point of view, we can use the Angular sound in application with a standalone template. Okay. So let me go to my application. Here the first thing is I am going to install the package. So the command is npm install angular slider slash ngx slider. Okay. So I will include this command also in the description. Okay, the installation completed. Next, let me create some components. So the first one is for our implementation slider. And then I'm creating one more component. We can provide the name is home. Okay. So next in our routing side, we can map these created components. First we mapped this home component and then our slider. So next we can run this application. Up in the running mode. So if I'm go to this slider, I have some default content in our app component. So let me move everything into our home component. Except this router outlet, we can move everything. Okay, we moved all the changes, you know. So the text is coming from our slider component. So next in our slider component point of view. Let me include on head tag. Slider. First we can take one basic slider. Okay, and then in our TS side, I'm declaring one value. So we can provide 40. Okay, and then declaring one object. And the data type is options. So here we can provide some basic values. Okay. We can give 200. So let me save this one. And then in this import section, we can import our NGX slider model. Okay. Next in our HTML section. So here we can use this NGX slider. And then we can bind the property value. I'm just applying the two-way binding. So here we can use the same value. Okay. And the next thing is the options. So let me save this one. See the response. So the, it's starting from zero at the end is 200 so our current value is 40 so the default value we provided okay so in case uh, if you want to get the value from this slider so let me provide on label slider value is we can bind the same value okay So, you know, okay, initially it is showing us the 40, and then if I'm increasing, see, so in this value section also got increased. So, using this way, we can assign the values to the slider the same way we can get the selected value. Okay, so the next thing is uh, we can use the range slider for doing this range slider. Let me copy this content, okay. We can change the name as the range. And in this TS point of view, 
actually I can modify this value for the reference purpose I am just duplicating value is 1 and options 1 so in this stage I am going to include one more property the value I can give 100 okay so next in our HTML side I am going to include that high value property also okay here we are getting the error okay it should be caps and in this value also we can change this into value 1 see now I can move so the same way we can get the values also from and to values I am going to include two labels okay from and to value one and the two value is nothing but the high value okay so now it is the 4200 so now 77 to 80 okay okay so it is working fine so these two examples are the uh, horizontal slider so next we can see how to use the vertical slider so it's a kind of property change only but anyway let me create one more entry okay value 2 and options 2 and in this options 2 I am going to include one more property that is vertical you can say it is true so next in our HTML side I'm, I'm just copied this one vertical slider and the value is value 2 and there is no high value and in this options option 2 see now so the slider was there uh, we are unable to see the height difference so what I'm going to do let me include one due tag okay and I'm adding the style height 250 pixel and we can move this slider inside the view see now this is the way our vertical slider is working so the next thing is uh, we can use the dotted slider so first we can duplicate this one dotted slider okay so next in our TS side so I'm going to include some static values okay so the first one is value 3 so already we have this value 2 so it's a, again it is a number and then in this options point of view we added this show tick values true okay then only it will show the tick and additionally so we have this step array okay so let me save this one so in this HTML side we can give value 3 so the same way options 3 and there is no high value see so we can see the dotted okay this is the way our dotted slider is working so based on our requirement we can do some customization also so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching